Jackie Chicha and Kelly. Today we're going to learn how to do to draw a realistic beetle. So it's based from the Beetle Book by Steve Jenkins, and if you do AR, it's a 5.9, and the quiz number is 150490, and I'll put that in the comments as well. Hope you enjoy. Today you're going to need a Sharpie or something else to draw with, and then I'm going to be using these four colors, and we're going to kind of go over how to shade as well. So to start off, you want to start at the top, and we're going to make a line coming down that's at a slight angle. Then it's almost like a slightly curved rectangle that comes up. So round your corners a little, back up, up. You're going to mirror it and make another one going the opposite direction. So right next to it, go ahead. You want them to be kind of close together, so a little closer. Thank you. Over, up. Okay, then below here, we're gonna drop down and you're going to make a curved line that comes in and touches here. So you wanna make almost like a rainbow that comes in. Then our beetle is going to close. We're gonna make two parentheses for its head. Now, you're going to make on each side of its head two C's, one backwards and one not. We're gonna start with some pinchers that come down here. And the way we're gonna do this is we're going to come in slightly. Actually, let's go ahead and make our line that goes in between first. That'll kind of help us know where to put things. Now, halfway between the line and the eye, you're going to come and make another parentheses. The other side, you're going to do the exact same thing. Halfway between each, you want to make a parentheses. Then we want to do a couple squiggle lines that go up and back. Go ahead. Nice, does not matter how many, so just go ahead and go do a few. Little, mm-hmm, go ahead. And that's good, stop. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now here you connect it. You don't need to connect. You can just stop right there. Start at the bottom, make your lines and stop. And stop. Okay. Now we're going to connect in between the two. One line. We're also going to make a line that connects from here to the start of the pincher. That's your line, it needs to connect. Jump to the other side, you're going to do the same. Then I'm going to come above it and I'm going to make two small rainbows with a gap in between. So you've already kind of closed yours off, so, you're, so if you want from here to here, we'll make your line. So then I'm gonna come and I'm going to make a W in between. So for you, why don't you make a little line that connects just right here and make a W in between. Right there, make your W right here. Just make a W in the middle. There you go, and then connect. And then make a little line right here that connects as well. Just a straight one. Great, so now you have its pinch your mouth connected. You're going to come up between these two pieces. Now more on this one, we're going to make a curved triangle. All the way up here. So Julia's is a little close to the edge of her page, so some of hers is gonna get cut off, but you'll see most of it on mine. Then I'm gonna make a line that comes up 
over and down. That's part of my leg. I'm gonna make two more lines that go off the page. My leg goes off of the page. The other side, I'm gonna do almost the exact same thing with the start. I'm gonna come between these two pieces and make a curved line. Nice job, Julia. And then two lines that go back into right here. Great. So this leg follows back into the hind bug's body. I'm gonna come back to this side. And this time I'm gonna stay on this middle piece, but towards the bottom. I'm going to make a triangular curved shape is again. So over here, same thing. Like I said, hers is a little closer to the edge, so that's totally fine, but it just means that hers will be a little different shape. From here, I'm going to draw almost like a triangle that comes up and connects back to the leg. Go ahead, starting at your point. Up. Mm -hmm. From that, I'm going to make one triangle coming out, two, three. Go ahead, Joy. One, two, and three. And then I'm gonna make one, two, like a little tiny hand almost looking thing at the end. From the eye, right below it, I'm going to make an antenna. So I'm gonna make a curved line that comes out. Go ahead, right here. and then it closes. So go ahead and close it. And then I'm gonna make a bunch of little, it does not matter how many, just lines that come out, Julia. Yours can go to the, off the page as well. Mine, since I've got a little more room, I'm gonna have end like that, with almost a teardrop shape at the end. Yep, and then just have it go off the page. Awesome. Jump to the other side. And towards the end of the middle section of the body, we're going to make a triangle as well that's slightly curved at the end. I'm going to make another triangular shape that comes down and back up. This is another one of our legs. Then off of this one, I'm going to do one, two, three, yet again. One, two, three, and then one, two. From here, I'm going to make the last antenna, which will be one of the last parts before we start coloring. So for the antenna on this one, I'm gonna make a little circular part that comes off. So go ahead, like over here. Then I'm going to kind of do how I did the shapes over here where it doesn't have to be precise. I'm gonna come off and go one, two, three, four, and kind of just curve it up. Yours is fine to curve down. And then just make an end where it kind of looks like a teardrop. Now the last part before I go to my crayon is I wanna to come to my eyes and fill them in with the Sharpie. I'm gonna leave a little bit white just to show the highlight from the light. So when our, a light hits an eye, eyes are shiny. So the light hits it and bounces off and makes it look shinier. So there's usually a little bit of white left. I'm gonna make sure it stays on the same side. So I'm not gonna do white here and white over here. I'm gonna do white here, white here. Go ahead, Julia. They don't have to be exactly the same, but you want to get them as close as possible because that's going to make it look your light source coming in because you don't have a light coming in here and a light coming in here. So we're going to do a quick thing on how to shade. So while Julia finishes that up, I'm going to show you how to shade a little bit. What I want to do is I'm going to show you on my center section of my body. I'm going to pick one color for me, I want it to be the turquoise shade because it's my mid-tone. As your mid-tone, you want to start with that. 
I'm going to shade my entire midsection first. Then, I come in with a darker color. I'm using two different colors as my darker color. I have a darker blue and a purple. When I come into the center, it kind of makes it just slightly darker here. I'm also gonna to go to my edges and bring it in a little further, just a little bit darker, not much. So we've already seen a little bit of shadow here. I press a little lighter at the edges to make it really start to blend. Then I take a darker color. I'm gonna set my two blues to the side. I'll end up using them on the rest. With my purple, I'm gonna to come to the edges and just at the edge, I'm gonna bring it a little bit darker and then I press lighter. So see how we start to get a nice fade. I'm gonna do the same. I make it darkest at the edge and then I press a little bit softer. I can kind of do the same. For this one, I'm gonna do it kind of at the edge here to show a little bit more. And then I usually like to use a light tone as well. With my light tone, I'm gonna choose a brighter green and I'm just gonna come in and make the parts in the very center a little bit lighter. We'll go ahead and fast forward and you can see the rest of the shading if you wanna try that way as well. Hope you enjoy. Hope your beetle's beautiful and we'll see you next time. Bye.